Today we're going to go in and take a look at a great campground for you guys to check out. If you don't have any reservations, we found the perfect place for you to stay and you won't be turned away. Well, stay tuned and find out where it's at. Turn off the Tamaka Farms Road, just past the flea market. At the end of the road, you make a right-hand turn. It turns into kind of a gravel, dusty road. And just follow the signs. It'll take you around. We'll pull that somebody. Is that him standing out there? Mm -hmm, maybe. We just got done talking to the manager. If you're looking for a campground and you're coming to Daytona and it's like, I have no idea where I can find a place to park my RV. I'm willing to even boondock or dry camp. Some people call it that. I've got a generator. I've got water. I've got my own shower. I could survive anywhere, but I just need to find a place I could put my RV. That would be motorcycle friendly. We found it. Crazy Horse Campground, right next to the flea market off Tamaka Road. That's right. So right now we're going to go ahead and drive through it and we're going to talk a little bit about it while we're here. And uh, we're going to take a stop and show you the showers and the bathrooms that they have here. Uh, this is actually race weekend. So this is Sunday. So it's kind of the, the wrap up of the racing weekend. But it's basically the same setup. So uh, there's no dumping allowed. You can see the sign right here. It said no waste dumping. So there's no gray tanks you can't drop here either. They do have firewood here that you can buy. So there, uh, and there is places along here that you can get water to fill up your camper and things like that. There was somebody that had a generator going. And we'll make a loop around here first and then we'll go and uh, show you the bathrooms and stuff. But hey, what's the lowdown here? You can get here as early as, I think he said the first, March 1st. And you can stay as late as Monday after the rally. That's when you kind of have to get out. I think that's the 13th. Yep. So what it ends up running you is it's $21 per person per day per however many people you have in your camper. So if you pull up and you're all by yourself, you got a trailer, you're going to stay here, it's 21 bucks a day. Cash and carry, that is your taxes. That's the whole nine yards. You're not too far. Right next to us here is the flea market. So there's a lot of action going over there. There's a lot of bike parts. All kinds of stuff will be going on for that. So you guys can check that out. They do have full hookups here, which are on the other side. I don't know if you could, you've seen that with the camera or not. Those are pretty much sold out. Those are always year to year. It's the same people that come back and get the electric and the water. I'm not sure if they have sewer over there. I don't see a pipe coming down. But it's electric and water for sure. I think it's just electric and water. I don't yeah. see any septic there. So you just get electric over there. But here it's friendly to bring your generator. You can bring your generator over here. Crank it up. Uh, plenty of room to park. You know, these are nice big spots you're getting. You know, you don't have everybody right on top of you like some of these other campgrounds that have. First come, first serve. You just kind of pick your spot that you want to be in. And if you've got a big group, you're more than happy to get here and you can cordon off a little area here and have all your buddies or gals or whatever you got with you come and stay with you. So it's pretty much all grassy. So it's not, you know, it doesn't, you know, if it rains, every place is going to get muddy sooner or later. But overall, this is a good, this is a good pasture. It's got a lot of good grass here. Even with all the driving from this weekend, the road's still in pretty good shape. But his property here goes all the way. If you see that semi driving down the highway, that's how far these you can, he can put campers in here. So it's never going to sell out. There is no reservation required. Again, no reservation required. And if you show up on Friday night, ready to start the rally, and you know every place is sold out, you are guaranteed to get a spot here for 21 bucks a night per person. Yep. So you're all set up. You can get out here as far out as you want. They do have only the one shower house. Uh, when we're gonna say we're gonna stop by, they kind of try to put the people with the tents. If you look ahead here, you see the tents over there. They kind of like to try to get the tents over in this general area, away from the RVs. A lot of times with tents and stuff, you don't have generators and all that. But I mean, there's a guy way out there, uh, a couple of them out there along the fence, want to kind of get away from everybody. And you're, you're, like I say, it's first come, first serve, and you can pretty much go wherever you want. Uh, a lot of big there's no side no limit on size here so as big as your rv is you can find a place here to put it so it's more busier here on this side here than like i say what you see on this other side and we're going to drive over here in the tent area where the bathrooms and the shower house is you're more than welcome to do it so you can bring your barbecue grills you can even rent your own johnny on the spot 
and uh, we'll put, flash the phone number up down here that you can call and if you want to rent something special like that you can get it but even the here's our, our uh, tent campers it's got a generator out here we got the shower house here and if we can get this guy before it gets all crazy here so they have bath attendants This way is all the showers. We've got showers down all the sides. They're pretty good in size. So there's plenty. There's one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. And I think there's six on the other side. Yeah, so all together they have 12 showers, six on each side. So there's plenty of time to get in here and get your showers. And they've got some uh, sinks here to shave or whatever you want to do while you're here. Uh, they do have a bathroom attendant here to, uh, you know, make sure you try to tip him and give him something good. And uh, we've got hot coffee in the morning. So basically, for the rest of the time, you have to use the odd houses, the porta potties, for bathroom duties. Standard campground bathroom. Oh. I like they got a little basket here you can put all your stuff on. So they got, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten showers. trailers that are over there in that area like I say pretty much here in the middle is where they like to get all the tent campers so if you're bringing that motorcycle and you're bringing that tent and then also if you're coming with camp easy ride I'm assuming he's gonna be back here in this area and we'll give you a little more information when he arrives let you know where he's gonna be at for the camp easy ride that are riding in and taking advantage of his great opportunity just ride in the rest Overall, I really do recommend the campground. It's a pretty nice. Uh, the people that run it are the same person that manages the flea market manages this tier. And, uh, so it's a pretty neat deal. Uh, people, pretty much everybody here seems pretty civilized. Uh, don't see too much trouble going on. Don't ever hear any real trouble going out here. But I mean, there's people that always want to party. Could probably drink a little more than they should. Uh, there's also a place here if you'd like to leave your trailer. You've got a cargo trailer. You're hauling a bunch of bikes down and don't know where to leave it at. You can leave that trailer here. He's got a parking area over there. It does run $21 a day also to leave your trailer out here. So that could be arranged too. There's that firewood again. And this is kind of the office up here. This is where you would normally check in at. This is also where, I don't think during the bike week they have it but during this time during the Daytona 500 they actually have some buses out here and shuttle services that bring you in for for a price yes per head yeah and uh, here's some people that just called a taxi uh, you might even be able to get uber and stuff to come out here but I mean if you're on your motorcycle unless you're planning on going downtown and do some drinking or out to the iron horse or yeah. Uber bar or yeah it's a great little campground here. For boondocking or dry camping, this is ideal. You know, there's not any real trees or anything here to kind of block you or shade you. But hey, most of the time you should be out riding all day or having fun. And by the time it, here, actually at night right now, it's been cooling down pretty good. You're down into the 60s most evenings here. So it's pretty comfortable, even though it's getting to be in the 80s and the 90s this weekend coming up. That hot, that still gets kind of cool down here at night, so it's not too bad if you're in a tent. You know, if you're still hanging around here by noon or 1 o'clock, that's your fault. You should have been out there riding your bike and having a good time and seeing all the great things to do and the great places to ride to and all that kind of great fun. So with that, we're going to leave you right here at the Crazy Horse Campground. It's real easy to find. It's right next to the flea market at Tamaka Road and International Speedway. You just make that turn and pass up the flea market and there'll be a sign right there that says crazy horse and we'll show you that sign as we go out so you'll know where it's at so thanks for hanging out today hope this helps you guys if you're thinking about coming down last minute don't have a place to stay now you have a place subscribe to our channel if you haven't already share this with your family and friends think about patreon give us a big thumbs up ring that bell for notifications and we'll see you on the next video oh helicopter rides there they go again don't forget to tell them bob and tam sent you